Dimmy, uh, ni- nice to see you. I guess the, the first question really is, is how, how is everything? How, how's it going with the, the injury at the moment? Yeah, I'm getting better, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to need a few weeks more to see if I can play for a club, even for the last few games before the playoffs, if we make it. But yeah, it's getting better. And I can imagine it's frustrating getting injured at any point in the season, but right now, in, in the final stretch of it, it must be even more frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Now it's even more and can't wait to get back on the pitch to help the team achieve our goals. Is it, is it tougher mentally because of the period of the season that, that is in? Because again, it's, there's so much to play for for the team and you kind of have to watch from the sidelines. That must be really difficult when you're a player and you, you can't play, particularly in the big moments. Yeah, it's always difficult, but as we said, now it's even more. But yeah, this football, this is our life. We know that at any moment we can get injured, but yeah, I'm strong and I will be back soon. I mean, I mean, you said that you, you're kind of hoping to be back before the end of the, the regular season and, and obviously the playoffs as well. So I guess that there is that incentive for you, isn't there, for the team to make the playoffs so you can be back and, and you can play in them? Yeah, yeah, of course. I want the team to make the playoffs. But if I can be earlier back to help them do it, then why not? Yeah, yeah and, and in terms of, of kind of your re- rehabilitation, you've got Onel Hernandez with you, who I'm sure is not a quiet character to be around when you're, when you're trying to recover. I mean, is it, is it good having someone like that around, sort of going through similar experiences to you? Yeah, of course, it's always good to have someone uh, by your side, but you know it's not good for the team because Andal cannot play, Johnny Rose as well, Grant as well is there. It's not nice to see them there, but you feel a bit better while you have company. And, and what have you made of the last few weeks watching it? Because the team is in a, a brilliant rhythm, particularly at home at, at the moment. It, it must be, in many, as frustrating as it's been, it must be really nice to see the performances that the team have been putting in as well. Yeah, of course. I'm really happy to see the team playing like that, performing good, we're brilliant and... Uh, Hopefully we're going to make it to the playoffs because this is a target and I think we're in a good spot right now. We've heard all season about how together the, the squad is and how together the dressing room is. You've been here a few years now. Is, is, is it the closest dressing room that you think you've, you've played in at Norwich City? Yeah, it is for sure. It is. We're all together. We're like a family. Uh, we're trying hard and we know our targets and our limits, of course. But yeah, this is the best person I've ever been. And, and that's so important. And has that been a key behind what you think has happened in the, in the last, basically since the start of the year and that run of form, I think it's eight wins on the bounce at home. That togetherness, has is, is that helped create that? Yeah, of course. Uh, every team needs that. And if you don't have that, you're not going to go a long way, you know. So that's why we're here. We're fighting for the playoffs and hopefully we're going to make it. Uh, and obviously a, a big game this weekend. Uh, you'll be watching like the, like the rest of us. Um, what is kind of the mood and the atmosphere around the, the squad like? It was obviously a, a defeat on, on Monday, which nobody would have wanted, but are you sensing a, a real eagerness ahead of the weekend? Yeah, of course, because defeat away at Leicester. Uh, we could, could say that from the start of the season, we would wait for that, yeah, because the best team in the, in the league. But yeah, we fought, we, we tried hard, but we didn't uh, make it. Now it's the derby on Saturday, that is nothing more uh, than three points for me, to be honest. Okay, it's a derby, it's always nice to play these games. The atmosphere is going to be nice, but it's another three points for us. Uh, I was, I was going to say that, that sort of control of it, because you can let emotions get the better of you, um, maybe more so for fans than, than players, but having that sort of um, control over it and, and being able to, I guess, look at it as the way you've just looked at it, three points, really important to the push, and, and any, everything else is kind of an extra on, on top of that. That's the way, I guess, that the group have to approach it. Yeah, exactly. We are mentally strong, we are, have the control, we are experienced players. Players. If you see the squad, is too many experienced players, especially in the first 11. So, yeah, it's all about mental strength and uh, I think we're going to be ready for Saturday. Can you, can you guys as a team learn anything from, from the game in, in December? I know you, you, didn't, you didn't play in that one either, yeah. so that, that must be frustrating. But as a team, do, do you feel that, that you can learn anything from, from that game? Yeah, of course. As every team in the league, if you play them in the first round, then second round you're watching this game and you're learning things and you try to, to face them. <laughs> But no, it's this guy there, it's Johnny Rowe, yeah. Yes, that's it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I was, I was going to say, because even though it's a derby and people look at it in that way, they're a team top of the league. It's going to be a, a wonderful challenge for the team, isn't it? I guess a real test of where, as Leicester was, a real test of, of where you are at the moment. Yeah, it's always nice to play against the leader of the, of the league, but as I said, it's another three points and we have like six, seven games left after that. So, yeah, I'm going to be ready for that. And, and I'm sure you've had some time to reflect in terms of being out injured what, what have you made of kind of your season so far this, this season yeah I think my season was quite good to be honest I always want more for myself and I could be better of course because I have shown that I can do that but yeah in general terms I'm, I'm quite happy with my performance until now 
And, and of course, I have to ask you because there's a, a situation coming up this summer of your, your contract. Um, how, how do you see that? Have there been any talks so far about maybe extending your stay at Norwich? Not really. Uh, I'm now focusing on my injury and to get back to help the team make the playoffs. And then until uh, and after the end of the season, I'm going to sit down and speak with the club. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, because there's so much still to play for. Yeah, exactly. uh, it, 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 it can be a distraction, but you've, you've got to not let it be a distraction. Yeah, exactly. We're focused and, as I said, we have control of everything until now. So, yeah. Thanks.